Well, yes, obviously today it's not easy to play against her, you know, because she won many Grand Slam before, and she's a tough to beat, you know. I just give my everything on court, and it's glad today the match went in my way. <laughs> Congrats, Chinglin. Um Your match against her uh, back in the hard courts in San Jose a few years ago, yeah. how did that, did you think about that match? Do you go back to that match um, and take anything that you learned from that match to today? Or did you go into today clean? Uh, honestly, I just go clean today because that match was a long time ago. Uh, it was my first year in tour and, you know, there's nothing to compare to that match. Because uh, also in that moment, you know, we are playing on hard court and the game was totally different, hard to play. Yeah, today I just go clean, set up my game and go for it. Hi, Chinwen, congratulations mm -hmm. on the win. You worked a lot with Wim Vizet last year, now he's working with Naomi. Did you think that anything that he knew about your game would help Naomi today? Sorry, can you repeat again? <laughs> yeah. Did you think that anything that Wim learned about your game from working with you, he'd be able to tell Naomi and that would help her today in the match? Well, honestly, I don't really care because <laughs> I think the player, especially me as a player, I try to develop my game all the time. I'm always trying to find a room that I can improve because I feel once I stop to improve is where my tennis is going down. So, you know, they have their own game plan. I have my own game plan, so let's have a fight today and let's see who has a better feeling, better mentality, better game today. And like what I said before, today the match went in my way. Um, I feel pretty good in my serve, my return and all my ground strokes. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with the win today. Yeah. Congrats, Nguyen. Um, what aspects of your game do you think you've most improved since the first time you played Naomi? Compared to last time, I would say, uh, well, it's tough to compare because last time we were playing hardcore and this time it's clay, so in clay it's different game style. If you really want to compare, I want to say maybe the return, I'm able to return her serve today, so I try to make her play as more as I can compared to the last time. Because I remember last time the match went in third set, but in the third set, you know, I lose my service game really fast. But today, what I'm doing good is when I lost my service game in the first set, I'm able to come back and trying to find a way to break her back again. And then even in the second set, the game was really, really tight in one moment and I was left 30 down, but I'm able to still keep my service game trying to put the first serve in. And I think the serve and the return makes the difference today. Uh, Chin, when you talked about on court, how much you love playing in Italy and how much success you've had here, do you remember the first time you came to this country and what it is you like about it? Wow, yeah, the first time I came in this country, I think... It's when I was 13, 14 years old as a junior, you know, I won a cup of ITF G1 in Italy and also, you know, my first WTA champion in Palermo and then I make my, I think, first quarterfinal, thousand also in Rome. You know, I just love the atmosphere, I love the fans here and every time I play in Italy, I feel... I feel good, you know, always the player we have, you know, those such as tournament that they say we love to play in here because it feels really comfortable. I would say Rome is one of the places that I love to play in here, it feels comfortable for me. Mm. Jinwen, uh, a few weeks ago you were saying that maybe after the Australian Open you struggled for, to find the hunger again. Yeah. And I'm, I'm curious if sometimes, especially when someone is top ranked, it can be hard to get super motivated when mm -hmm. you are playing a lot of lower ranked players in the early rounds. Mm -hmm. But against Naomi, I think that probably not difficult to get motivated yeah. in this match. Is that how you felt today? Because it felt like that was one of the best performances, match performances you've had in a few months. Uh, I would say yes, you are right. Uh, compared to the few run before and the matches I played before, 
Today is the match. I feel really hungry, really excited. You know, before you enter in the match, actually, I'm already hoping to play on court. You know, I enjoy to compete with her because I know she got really great level. And I jump on the court. I say to myself that I want to show up my good tennis again and to really compete with her, show that the big respect that I have. So I just gonna give my everything. And after Australia, there is a couple of stage for me. You know, I lose the hunger. Uh, also in the practice, I was a little bit not so focused in some stage. And then, you know, I come back with myself, you know, overconfidence. And I think I'm writing everything. <laughs> and so I had like some fight with the coach, some fight with my team. But after a couple of losses, I started to say, well, maybe it's time to change my mentality again because the things are not going my way. So there's something I'm thinking wrong, what I'm doing wrong. Uh, right now, I just come back to my normal level. If you want to win a match, you need to be balanced and then be humble because when you are overconfident, the things are really not doing well. That's what I learned from my mistake before. And then looking ahead, you'll play either Coco or yeah. Paula Badosa. Yeah. Uh, do you think that there will be a, a struggle to be hungry in, in, in that match? What do, you, what do you think of playing each one of those players? I think it doesn't matter who I play against, it's good for me. I think when you arrive in quarterfinal, every player are hungry, especially me. I'm really excited to play my next match again. Uh, both of them, I would say they are tough to beat. They had really good performance before. Doesn't matter who I play against, I just gonna show everything and give my best, treat them like like you know the best player I gonna face in front and just enjoy my tennis. Thank you. Yeah? Okay.